Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. I have had so many people reach out to me concerning the short videos that I do and especially about the topic of mullein that I wanted to make a longer video for everyone. So mullein is actually, it's a plant that's native to Europe, Africa, and Asia. And it's been used for a long, long time in alternative medicine. So this is something that um, people have used for all kinds of respiratory problems for a long time. It comes in several different forms. So you can get it as a tea, you can get it as a capsule, and you can get it as an elixir. Um, I've actually tried all of them. I like them all, but I do like the tea. I think the tea, considering it's, um, especially if you drink it warm, that is really gonna help with the mucus. Um, so it's, you just kind of get a two for one there with the tea. Um, so the benefits. First of all, mullein is a mucilage, which means that it's actually going to soothe and coat your airways. So anytime um, this is gonna be beneficial is if your airways are irritated. So if you're somebody who suffers from breathing problems a lot, more than likely your airways are irritated and they probably stay irritated. So the mucilage is super important there. Um, it's also an expectorant. So what that means is that it's going to help thin out your mucus and it's going to help you cough it out. And then finally, anti-inflammatory. This one's huge because for one, this is gonna help you all over your body, not just in your lungs. But um, when your lungs are inflamed and they have an inflammatory process going on, you're going to be more uncomfortable. You're gonna have more bronchoconstriction. You're going to produce more mucus. So anytime that you can settle that inflammation a little bit, you want to do so. So now this should not replace any kind of traditional medicine. So whatever your doctor has planned for you and has asked you to do, you continue doing that. This is just something that you can add on top of it to help with your symptom control. As always, if you have any questions, just make sure to jot them down in the comment section and I'll get back with you. And um, I hope this answers everyone's questions. Thanks.